Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I thought this time I would do like a little vlog thing. I put a poll on my channel where most people ask for a book paint over but I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit different and I know like vlogs aren't everyone's cup of tea but I hope that you guys you like this one. I'm just going to talk about my comics and like stuff that I've done. It's currently Friday evening and it's been a long week of work if you guys don't know i work as a graphic designer in the daytime <laughs> in the daytime and then in the evenings i try to work on stuff or chill and then on friday evening night saturday morning afternoon i do my youtube channel i do my youtube videos maybe i've planned them in advance maybe i haven't and they're a last minute rush but usually that's kind of my my thing he passed it there she wants attention and yeah so i'm pretty tired but i thought i would just like go through my my recent book covers so this one is the bridgerton one and they've all been um glossed now lots of people are asking me about um like pri not priming them sealing them and this is like a uh a sealing gloss that I've put on afterwards. I'm always afraid to do it like quite recently after I've painted them in case like it smudges the paint. And uh, yeah, these are the last few that I've done. You guys may have seen them. Probably you've seen them if you're watching this because most people watch those rather than watching uh, a vlog. So <laughs> those are my last books. I also got like a book haul. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but here are all my books that I bought recently and I thought I would share them with you because maybe you're interested in that. So I've got The Weight of the Stars. All of these books have basically been recommended by booktubers. Um, books and Lala is probably like my favourite booktuber so a few of them are from her. Um, this is basically a sci-fi uh, yeah, sci-fi. <laughs> I thought I got that wrong then. I was like, it's not a sci-fi yes it is um a sci-fi girl dreams of going across the stars but a career in space isn't an option for a girl who lives in a trailer park on the wrong side of town so that's kind of the story i don't like ever reading the whole blur because i feel like sometimes they over tell the story this book was recommended to me by someone on tiktok a book tiktoker book tiktok is that what we're saying I don't know how to describe them, but it's like a um, the first of a fantasy series. And I haven't read fantasy in like ages, but this is supposed to be really good. It's A Winter's Promise. It's about a girl who can read the past of objects and has the ability to travel through mir mirrors. So it just sounded interesting to me. Don't want to know any more. Just need to know that she can touch things and know their past. That sounds interesting. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> And then I got We Ride Upon Sticks, which is about a um, hockey um, hockey team in like high school, I think, and uh, how they then become witches to win their hockey stuff. I haven't read it yet, but it was recommended. I hit myself in the face with this heavy book. Death of Vivek Oji. Not sure if I've said that right, but this is supposed to be like the book of the moment. It's supposed to be everyone who's read it has given it five stars and said it's amazing. So I really do want to try that out. I'm really trying to read books that are like, I suppose it's bad to say popular, but books that are really popular in the moment because if all booktubers and stuff are talking about it, then you know it's good because they're quite honest in their reviews and they've read so many books that they... I kind of trust her opinion mostly. And the last one is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark because this is the paint over that I wanted to do for tomorrow. But I'm going to leave it until next week because I just think I was a bit burnt out doing book cover paint overs. But I absolutely love like the illustrations in here are so cool. And then you have like this horrible movie cover book which is like why. But yeah it's really cool. I really like some of these drawings. Um, I think the original artist it just says featuring original illustrations it doesn't actually say who the illustrator is which is but oh here it is Stephen Gamel was the illustrator of these which is really cool because I think like some of these are so interesting and bizarre and then you have that which is just like which is cool I mean it's obviously based off his drawings though I wasn't a fan of that movie but We'll talk about that when I actually go to paint this over. 
And that's it. Basically, what I wanted to do today is talk you through working on my comic. I have been working on it. And um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to work on a page now for you guys and just show you like the process of where I'm at. I've been doing a lot recently. I'm trying to like just focus down and get it done. I've been this week working a lot after work trying to do them. And uh, yeah, I hope that they're good. I'm getting to that stage where I'm like nitpicking everything and thinking like, do I like this? Is this good? Or is it too stupid? Like, I don't know. When you get to that stage where you just full of self doubt when you're drawing. And I think I just have to push through it and uh, do it. Because what's the point if I'm not going to do it? It's just like, I'm, sh I'm sure it's like better if I have something rather than just not doing anything. You know what I'm saying. It makes sense. It does make sense, right? Okay, well that's my, my day. Um, I was working and then after work I've been like tidying my whole house because it's a mess. Pesta's been sleeping, Chris is napping, everyone in this house is napping except me and I'm angry about it. Right, Pesto? Nothing. Nothing. In case you're wondering what this is, is protect the sofas from the claws of this beast. This vicious beast. Yeah, time to get on with some comic work. Okay, so here is my script. I know it may not look my like much but it is a short story or a couple of short stories so the first one is called the slow and then all at once disappear disappearance of olivia newbury you can see here that i've sort of really done like a super quick job of writing the script and that's because i felt like it was a bit of a blocker for my process at this moment in time um because of that i felt like I just needed to get the thumbnail stage out quickly because I could see the pictures in my head so the script for me at this point was not necessarily super super important. Let me find the um, thumbnails. So here are the thumbnails. Um, I did them in my sketchbook here really quickly um, and then I just scanned them in and printed them out so I could have them here and I, when I'm like doing my designs and stuff I could just look at them quickly. So what I do is like, I just did like beats of each page. Um, the first comic is fairly easy to write out in the script because it's going to have no dialogue at all. So all the work really is more in the imagery, whereas some of the dialogue in the next comic is more uh, telling. So I hope that makes sense to you. So let's just look at like the first panel, I guess. Everybody's comic processes can kind of be different to what I've done so don't take uh, what I do or my processes as like that's how you do comics because I think there's so many different ways to do comics. I know that there's like some really good courses online and also there's some really good outlining, outlining of comic scripts online which I think can really help people understand how to write a script because scripts on like comic scripts are not the same as normal dialogue scripts or plays anything like that they're completely different because they're more descriptive in each scene like what is going on in each scene and then if there's any dialogue it has to be sort of separated but clear enough because if you weren't the person to write and then draw the comic you have to pass on the script to the artist and then it has to make sense to them so i hope that kind of gives you a little bit of a idea of how i do stuff so I've done like the thumbnails really roughly and as I've gone through these I've even added some pages whilst I've been working on them. But my process right now is pretty weird because I found like the style that works for me. So what I've been doing is taking a mechanical pencil, looking at my thumbnails, drawing them on a sheet of paper, drawing them super roughly on a piece of paper. So I'll do like like this character. Hello, I'm a character. <laughs> and then I'm taking my Winsor Newton brush markers. I'm doing like the coloring in over the pencil, whatever it may be. This is obviously a very rough example and not the actual comic. And then I'm flipping them over because I really like the way that it looks through the paper. Obviously, I've left a bit of the pencil there, so usually I would kind of 
rub that out slightly, but you get the idea. I do the outline of that. Then I will draw, <laughs> this is so extra, I know, the lines with my Faber-Castell Polychromos black pencil because I really enjoy the way that these lines look. Um, it sounds really like pretentious, but it's just something that I enjoy and I think it looks cool and I think it has a really nice quality to it. So that's kind of what my process is for this one. Um, you can see a sort of completed page here. Obviously it's not without mistakes, but I'm trying to do stuff quickly. My first comic is sort of based in a Regency era, which is exciting because I've never done that before and I really like that style of story. Uh, this was like one of the first pages I did and you can see it's slightly different style. So I might need to go back and redo a couple panels or just like edit them on Photoshop, but this is kind of the look and feel of the first comic. I'm only five pages into them, into the comic, and there's about 15 pages for this first short comic, but I'm really enjoying it, and uh, I hope that you guys will like the end product if you get a chance to look at it. But I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna make a page, do a page now with you guys, and uh, yeah, these are like some rough sketches of one of the characters, and. I'm just kind of doing it all at once, which is strange for me because usually I'm very rigid about the preliminary work. Like I'll do the, the, the script to death. I'll like make sure everything is like perfect in the script and then each thumbnail has to be perfect. But now I'm kind of like working on it all at once. It's like an amalgamation of all these different parts just coming together. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. And um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process, which is hard because Obviously when you work full time and then in the evenings you just want to chill. I've been really pushing myself to do this and I think it's coming out. It's paying off because I'm really liking what I'm producing so it's kind of a reward. Yeah and uh, so I hope you guys will enjoy just chilling and watching me work on one of the pages and uh, let me know what you think. If you think these are looking cool or not. Um, the next comic is actually going to be set in the 90s so it's gonna be very nice, very fun, I think. It's called Wishing on a Star. I think that's the name of it. Not sure. Don't pause and look at the script because then you'll get spoilers. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I'm just gonna get on with it.
So last night I got a little bit distracted after dinner and I didn't quite finish that page so we're gonna do that today. Oh yeah, exciting Saturday morning time. Um, I've also got my old comic here, Emily is Burning, if you haven't seen it before. This is my comic that I did before this one and it's the same style that I want to do. Um, except for the people aren't totally white. <laughs> That sounds bad, but they're not completely um, page colour, <laughs> to explain it a bit better. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of style that I enjoy, and I want to emulate it here on this new comic, and I think that it will be it will be nice. Um, it's kind of a bit of spoilers for this comic if you haven't seen it or bought it before. But I was really proud of this piece, but obviously I wanted to try and do like something a little bit more, a little bit better um, this time. But I do still really like the way that this looks. And this is something that I want to do again with the pattern and everything. But I want to make it like a smaller size so the two of them will fit together quite cutely. I'm thinking about like this size. This is a comic by Emily Carroll, who is like the queen of horror comics, in case you didn't know. Um, I'm definitely heavily inspired by her and uh, she has like a really nice style um, and she does really interesting things with like her comics like she does a lot of ink work and like different different um, textures and things which I'm super inspired by and I think she's an amazing artist I actually met her once and I didn't even realise I was at this like comic fair a few years ago and uh, she she was sitting there at the desk and um, they were like, put your email down, <clears throat> put your email down here and get um, like for the mailing list and get a free print. And I was like, oh, fine. <laughs> and I, she's just looking at me like, okay, okay, what you have to do is put an email and you get a free print. I was like such a little, like, I don't know. I was just like tired. So I didn't really notice. <laughs> oh, well. Um, yeah. So that's a big inspiration and I'm going to be doing some more pages, uh, this page to be precise. So thanks for sticking about because I got super distracted last night by after dinner we watched um, the Grand Tour Top Gear basically but for Amazon Prime. <laughs> They remade it, but they go around the world and they do some like really funny sh stuff. I nearly said S H I T, and uh, I thought it. You know, we got really distracted, distracted watching that, and we were like, "When is it finishing?" Because it's been really long, and we realise it's more like a movie length. Anyway, that's a really fun uh, story. I'm probably just going to talk for a little bit whilst I draw, and uh, yeah. So this is my character. The point of her story is that she kind of likes to be in nature and I hope that that is like obvious as you read it she likes more to be like out in nature rather than doing like fancy things like having dinners and things like that but there's also like this kind of creepy creepy dude I need to redo some of these pages because I did this one night and I was like I'm not happy with it um but I really like the way that this guy looks because he's super creepy and I'm glad because that's what I wanted to do but I really need to redo that panel because I just don't think it works. I also need to flip this whole page because I did it backwards but I didn't take into account that it would be mirrored where I have done that a few times like for this one I organised it mirrored on the back <laughs> so it would be the right way around on the front. Yes, it does hurt my brain. Okay, let's just get started.
Okay, I think that's the final page um, for now. Obviously, I will take this into Photoshop and clean up some certain areas where I've made mistakes, for instance, like her arm here, like her hand here, which I want to... I do like the fact that it's encroaching on that panel, but it looks a little bit green, so, you know, little things like that, but I really like the way that it looks messy. I think that's really my style, and I think it looks really cute. It's definitely looking more like Emily is burning, or a similar style anyway. Um, which I really enjoy and I'm really glad and proud of the way that this turned out I hope you guys enjoyed the way that this turned out also like watching the details um, I'll probably have talked about the process a little bit whilst I was doing it So I hope that really helps you out if you're working on a comic yourself I would really like to thank my patrons before you go um, for their support They are Little T, Keely, Trugsy I think I said your name right. <laughs> um, Lamont, Luzania, Luke, Ilira, Hannah, Istublum, Jacqueline, Heidi, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim, and Charlotte, and Alex. Thank you guys so much. That list is steadily growing. If you guys would like to check out my reward schemes and stuff like that, then do look down below. I think I'm going to be posting more of the processes of my comic there as well if you're interested in that, and also um, other stuff. So. Yeah, that's it. Um, it would really help me out if you guys liked this video, if you made it this far and uh, commented down below something. It helps the algorithm, it's some nonsense. Um, but that would be really nice of you if you guys made it this far, because I know you're a true, true fan <laughs> if you did. Because uh, not many people like to watch these vlogs, but I really, I do enjoy making them. Um, yeah, so for the rest of the day, I'm going to edit this vlog and probably work on some more comic pages. I really hope to have this done soon so I can do a Kickstarter possibly for the printing of them and it will be really exciting because I really love the process of that when I did it for Emily as Burning. It was just such a fun experience so I'm really looking forward to doing that again. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Hopefully next week we'll do a book paint over. Bye!